All right, welcome to the milestone win video. So for the milestones, I'm going to encourage you to follow along with how I do this. Um, and especially with this milestone one, this will be basically a subset of everything you will be doing for your milestone two. So I highly recommend you learn this process, get it down because you're just going to be repeating it more for your project one. So I'm gonna hit new, jump into an architectural template and hit okay. Now, um, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my walls. Um, I, uh, because I know how frustrating it can be changing everything around, um, I'm going to make it a priority to do that first. So, um, let's see. I'm going to start, there we go. Okay, start with a wall. Um, I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna do a generic interior and a generic exterior and then I will duplicate those from there. So I'll select the default uh, basic wall right here and I'm going to do edit type, edit, actually sorry, making the same mistake as before. Um, duplicate and I'm going to call this interior, we'll do 4.5 inch generic uh, because we're only going to have one type of interior, one type of exterior wall, and then you'll have to change the colors of them from there. That's not part of the demo, uh, or part of the mile, or part of the project. Sorry, part of the milestone. Um, it's not part of the milestone, but it will be part of the project. So I would say set this up like how I'm doing right now, um, and you'll save yourself some time. So I'm going to change this. Um, we are going to use again, like every project in this class. We're going to be using a wood uh, stud instead of the metal stud. So I'm going to do bat because it's going to be the wood joist structure with bat insulation. Um, we're going to do 3.5 inches for the core bound or for the structure layer here. Um, this is going to be half inch drywall and half inch drywall. So. If you set this up, you can easily then go back, duplicate this generic wall, and modify your materials from there. So this is a good starting point for you to start building everything off of. So I'm gonna hit apply. There's our 4.5 inch generic. I'm gonna need one other wall. And I'm gonna, I like cloning this brick on CMU. Um, so I'm gonna clone this one. Again, we'll duplicate it. And we're gonna call this 6.5 inch generic. Um, now you should have at this point grabbed the copy of um, uh, the wall types from the blackboard and I can't find mine. Uh, one second. Okay, I found mine. Alright, so um, I'm going to do a 6.5 inch generic wall. I'm going to click edit. I'll start at the bottom here. Um, we can get rid of this metal furring layer. Um, because we're going to be changing that to wood, so I'll hit delete on this. Again, we'll use half-inch gypsum on the interior. Concrete masonry here needs to get changed to that. Okay, so then we'll leave the membrane layer here. We don't need this air layer, so I'm going to delete that. We don't need the rigid insulation. Actually, Uh, yes, we can get rid of that. And then I do actually, I probably should have left one of those in here. I need one layer that's right here um, for substrate. So substrate, um, and I'm just doing a generic um, siding. So I need uh, uh, sheathing. Yeah, okay. Plywood sheathing material. Um, we will do three quarter inch. Uh, membrane layer will remain at zero. This is substrate. And then our finish will be, um, do they have siding? No, so I'll have to create a siding material for my project. Um, figure out what material you wanna use and let me know in class and I can help you figure out um, what Revit has available. So I'm gonna select this default new material uh, just like I did at the demo video, click this little button right here to get into the asset browser. And there should be a couple options for siding in here. 
Um, so here we go, siding, clapboard. So I'll apply that to this. And then we can close. Yeah, I just saw it apply there, so I'm just doing this. Um, and then we'll rename, rename this as <coughs> exterior wall generic. <clears throat> and we'll hit apply. Okay. All right, so um, this needs to be about 3 8 inch. And what am I missing? Oh, this needs to come down to 5.5 inches okay so we have our exterior finish our membrane layer our sheathing our joist or rather our stud um, and then our wall board so that's what I'm gonna go with I'm gonna hit OK um, just to be accurate I'm gonna actually change this back to uh, 7 inch okay so hit apply, okay. So now right there in that step, I have two generic walls. I can build everything as I need to. And then later at the very end, I can come in and uh, fix everything. So for the milestone, you guys need to build four 10 by 10 rooms. Um, and I'm looking for, in this case, I'm looking for them to be on a grid. So typically you would, once you know that the center of your wall is set, um, you would be able to um, line them up according to that grid. So we will be using the wall center line for this. Um, I'm also going to come back to the architecture menu and there's an option here called datum and grid. And what I'm going to have you guys do is create a grid of these. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to put that there. And then um, once one's down, I'm going to copy this and I'm going to create several of these spaced out in a 10 by 10 grid. So I have two there and then I'll type 20 feet, paste 30 feet, paste 40 feet um, and that gives us one, two, three, I need one more, 50 feet. Okay, so another trick that Revit has is while I'm placing those it's incrementing this number up. So I should have five spaces now to run things down in rows here. Um, next, I'm going to draw another datum line, and I'm going to go from here across, and um, just to show you one of the cool things Revit does, if I change this to the letter A, I can now copy this line, and we'll start working our way down here. If I do 10 feet, it'll label that as B, 20 feet as C. 30 feet is D, 40 feet is E, and 50 feet is F. So now I have a 5x5 um, five five grid that I can work with in here to quickly draw my walls so that I know that they're placed right. All right, so um, again for this we need uh, four completed rooms, just 10 by 10 by 10. Um, so our elevations, um, again right now we have two, so I will move these up as well. Um, we'll put this one at, stay there, 10 feet, 20 feet, 30 feet, and 40 feet. And then just to make sure that these are out of the way, I'm going to select the whole lot of them here and On that and drag that up so it's out of there. So now we should have a five by five by five grid cube. We'll be making four for the milestone anyway. We'll be making four rooms on this grid. So now that I have all of that, um, I can start putting in my walls. Like I said, we'll be using um, the wall center line for this. Um, so that's the physical center of the wall. So I'll just place one there. Um, I'll go to level two. I will place another wall here. And then I need to generate um, uh, 
new plan views. So I'm going to go to floor plan, select all four of those, hit OK. And now I have my new levels here. Um, for each of these, I'll have to actually go in and um, just set a base underlay. So this will show me level two. So now I can see level two there. This will show me level three and so on. Um, I'm just going to go to level four for now and then we'll figure it out from there. Um, so let's see. That's frustrating that it doesn't show me all the datum lines up here. One second, I need to figure this out. Okay, um, looks like this is the issue. I didn't pull up this other set of datum lines. So we'll try this. So that's up there. Now I should have all the datum lines visible. Perfect, okay. Um, change that to five. This to four. That's three. Okay. All right. So I'll keep building my walls here. So again, I need <clears throat> four rooms. And I did not check to see which side was the exterior on this. So it'll be interesting to see what's going on there. I'm going to do two on this floor. Um, you guys can do these however you want, in any pattern you want, in any order you want. Um, this is just the order that I'm building them in. Um, and then just to double check on these walls. Arrows are on the outside. So at least on this one, that's correct, 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 correct. Um, just to, again, I'm just double checking to make sure that my walls are on the correct side, side of where they should be. Looks like we're all good. Alright, so let's go to 3D view and see what I just did here. So I now have these kind of spaces floating around here. Um, first things first, I need to make... Um, so each of these are 10 by 10 rooms. So each should only go up 10 feet because the base constraint on here is level 2. I'm going to set the top of this to level 3. This is my level 1 right here that was hiding behind it. So that's on level 1. Base constraint needs to be level 2. Um, so if I rotate, there it is floating around down there. Oh, did I miss a floor when I put these in? I did. Let me actually move this one down. So we'll set the level for this to level 3, top constraint to level 4, and then this one will be, uh, yeah, level 3, or level 4, top constraint is level 5. Alright, so now we have those four cubes floating around in space. Um, I'm going to oh I do want you to go. okay so um, once I've got this I'm gonna come in and put some stairs in here so I'll go to my level one and just to reference my level two is gonna be there compared to it so I'm gonna put a set of stairs up right along here so I'll just um, We'll do exterior support right. And this should eventually come up to the top of this space right here. So I'm just going to make sure that this draws appropriately here. Okay. Come on. I'm trying to get it to snap to this wall because I want it to go right up against that face. Uh, why do you snap that way? Okay, there we go. All right, just some OCD kicking in here. So, stairs go up to that. Oops, all right. So then I'll throw another set of stairs. Um, let's see, is there some fun way we can do this? Not really. All right, we'll just do something to bridge that up. So I'll go to my level two. And again, I'll do stairs. Um, this one, I'm going to do exterior support right, and I'm going to go about to he here. What is it? A 10 up. Uh, that should fit right there as a guess. I don't know. 
it might, it might not. Okay, so I'll do that flight of stairs right there. Um, and then oops, select. snap that into that grid I guess this one doesn't really have to be perfect um, I just wanted that other one to be lined up <coughs> okay um, I'll work with that <coughs> um, we'll go to level three same idea I'll do another set of stairs here um, we're already on left side, so I'll just bring it up to here. Exterior support right. Bring it up. And then, just like the others, we'll just... Oop, nope, not like that, though. Select. Okay. And then, just kind of shift this thing into position. Right there. Perfect. And then... Do we have them going all the way up? Oh, we got one more flight to go. So level three, um, and level four I think was over here. No, it's right there. Okay, so I wanna go across. So I'll go from level three, and we'll just do this one straight up. So exterior support left from right here. And then it should snap right to there, maybe. All right, so my level four should now look like this. Perfect. All right, so that gives me four floors that I'll have access. Oh, that is not on the right floor. Uh, this should be on level four and go up to level five. Perfect. Okay. So then, just like we were talking about in class the other day, we need to have ceilings in all of these rooms. So ceiling, 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 and ceiling. I don't care what ceiling you guys use for this. Um, oh, um, let's see, 3D view. Let me throw this in wireframe just so I can see what's going on. Okay, so ceilings are on all of those. Next, we need to get some floors, so I'll come in here, draw floor. Um, let's see, I do need to customize, well, I'll leave this generic for now. Um, so, turn this up, and we'll go from here across. So that's floor on level one. Another floor on level two. And then we'll also need a floor on the roof of this. Uh, I'm actually going to manually draw this one because uh, I don't want to deal with that corner. So we'll just draw this like that. Check mark that's uh, don't attach for this one. Alright, um, level three. So I'm just trying to use the same tool over and over right now so that I don't have to keep going back to another tool constantly. Um, and I believe this is the one we we're working off of right here. Check mark, don't attach. Level four, floor rectangle uh, which one was it oh it's that one right there wait that one so it's the one on the right okay this one this one can just be done with a rectangle okay Attach and then level five will be the roof of I think this one. Uh, 
So draw that in. Uh, don't attach. Okay. So now if I look at my 3D view, um, let me turn this to consistent colors. Everything's gray. All right. Uh, you know what? I should have been doing all these with a slight offset. That's on me. Um, because otherwise they're just kind of overlapping with the borders of everything. So I will do a half inch. And we'll don't attach. And because this is an exterior floor, I'll do that little half inch trick right here to get it offset um, so that it's not interfacing directly with that. And then I'll kind of have to, oh, I've got to split these. So this is fine that I'm coming back and doing this. So I'll just cut that out. That floor is fine. Um, this is level four. So I'll come back and do another floor here. Again, half inch. Oh, I drew it. All right, I'm doing positive half inch, so it's gonna have to be flipped. Okay, um, and then we'll do another half inch here as well. Green check. Could go on that one. Level three. So this is also when I need to break apart. Add a boundary. Additive select with that. Check. Don't attach. Floor. Is it gonna let me paste this in place? Yeah. Oh, I can't pay it. It doesn't matter because I need to offset it anyway. Um, so half inch. And then we'll have to flip that. Place, place, place. Half inch. Okay. Don't attach. Level two. Boundary, delete, check, floor, half inch, half inch offset, good to go there, don't touch, and level one, that one's good. All right, um, just like all the other ones now, I need to go back and... Um, so, one of the things that I had mentioned before was that we don't want to have just sort of a floor hanging out below this. So, um, we have our ceiling, we have our top floor, if you will, up here. Um, I just need to come in here and take all of these walls down an extra... Um, we'll go an extra foot down. So we'll do our base offset. Oops. Whoa. No, not that one. Come on. Okay. Now let's set our base offset to negative one foot. So that'll drop that down. And then we'll come in and we'll place a ceiling um, right on the bottom of that. And so I'll just repeat this process. Um, base offset, negative one foot.
And then technically we don't need to do the ground floor because this would be invisible. Um, but just for the sake of consistency, I'm going to do it anyway. Come on. Nope, deselect those stairs. Okay, and again, negative one foot. Okay, so then um, one other couple things I need, or a couple other things I need to do here is I just need to go to my level one. Um, we will set, let's see. Okay, so if I set my base range for level 1 to level 1, top range to level 2, then I should get that, which will be the floor that's above this. So now I can come in, I can do another ceiling, manually sketch. So this is, again, just the opposite of uh, what I did on the other side. So start drawing that. Make sure the offset is to the correct side here. Not go far enough with that one. There we go. Okay, so same idea, just the opposite side. Um, same idea for the ceiling here. It's just the opposite um, of the other one that we we're working on. So place the ceiling there, and just to confirm that I'm in the right spot, I'm doing it correctly. There it is, right there. Um, we will set this ceiling height offset to nine feet and I think we'll have to bring it down. Yeah, we'll have to bring it down. So eight foot 11.5 inches. Oops. And that should just adjust that so that it doesn't do the clipping. <laughs> and then uh, we'll go to level two. That's the current floor, so we need to go to, um, let's see, escape, get out of that, level two, okay, here we go. Um, so level two, top range, level three, here's that one that just appeared, so we'll do another ceiling there. Um, again, same process, half inch offset. Make sure I'm on the correct side. And then we'll just go right through here. Come on. Now, did that, oh, I see what I did. Okay. All right, so that's that one. Again. Um, it's going to be 8 foot 11.5 inches. And then we have, this is level 3. So I'll go to level 3. We will set, oh, escape, um, underlay, change the top range to level 4. Here's that one that's above. And where is it? Oh, ceiling. Sketch ceiling line. Okay. Half inch. Uh, so this is a lot of the same work over and over again, as you might be noticing by now. And the point of that is these are the core things that you're going to have to get used to doing in Revit. So I really want to make sure that everyone has them down, not just for the project one, um, but for the class in general. So that's why we're doing a lot of the same thing over and over and over again. Um, so this exercise is, is going to feel very repetitive, um, but it's because I want to make sure that you guys understand this process completely. What did I just do there? Oh dear. Oh yeah, because that's on a different floor. Okay, uh, we can just delete this and this and... Oh, 
There we go. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So just as a real quick check, ceiling on the roof, four walls, um, and a ceiling below for everything except ground floor. All of these are connected by a staircase, um, at one way or another. And then, um, so. <clears throat> okay, so um, we are almost done here. We just need to make a couple additions for this milestone. So the requirement of this project is that we have um, multiple colors, again, for the exterior walls and the interior walls. So um, I'm going to just start with this one right here. Again, I'm going to duplicate this. Uh, this is going to be seven inch generic um, or seven inch red X um, yellow int. Okay, so that's my red X yellow int, and then we'll do a green X blue int. So that'll be my second. Well, you guys are only going to do two for the milestone, uh, but you'll end up doing four for the project. So, um, <clears throat> and then um, one other thing we need to do that I overlooked is we do actually need to modify our floors in here. So if I go in here, um, I should be able to select it right here. That's the floor we were using. Um, I'm going to duplicate this and we're going to call this, um, oh, wait a second. Is this the one? An entire project. Yeah, that's what we're using on everything. Okay. Yeah, okay. So edit type, um, and we're going to change this to, um, was there a carpet one? Yeah, right there. And then we're going to duplicate this. Uh, we're going to change this to an 8 inch with a carpet finish. Um, and then there we go. Um, so that, ow. Um, 7.5 inches for the 8 inch joist, 8 inch nominal joist. Um, and we'll leave everything else as is. I'm not going to touch anything else there. Um, hit OK. Apply. OK. All right. So because I have all these selected, they should have all just changed immediately. And I can see that that one's a little bit shorter. So we're good to go on that. Um, also, I don't particularly, oh, and you can see too, here is the carpet, all that wonderful exterior carpet. Um, and then I'm fine if you guys use the generic um, insulated ceiling panels um, that come with Revit. I'm not going to have you guys go in there and do anything crazy with them for the milestone. So, um, let's see, I have one other thing to do which is I need to put in doors on all of these so that all the rooms are accessible. I'm not going to have you guys um, build anything out from there though. So I'm just going to go real quick, throw a door there. Um, I'll throw, what is it right there? I'll throw another door here. Wait, where? Yeah, here. I'll throw a door right there. Um, we'll go to level three. Uh, let's throw it over here. Let's do this one on the inside. Okay. Level three and level four. That's down. What? Oh. Okay. Yes. I need to put a door somewhere. Okay. Anywhere on that one works, I guess. Um, so we'll put a door here. So, um, just as, oh, and then we need to do windows too. So same idea, I'll just start at four and work my way down. So there's a window on that one. There's a window on that one. Two, there's a window, and one, boom, okay. So, uh, just to double check the requirements. Um, so we have, each room has a door and a window so that you can get into it. Um, there are stairs to each to access each area, um, and then um, we're using at least four rooms. Oh, I need to actually change those colors. So, 
Um, let's do this one first, edit type. Um, so it was green exterior, color green, very green. Oh, wait, cancel. Need to duplicate it, that's the rules. All right, duplicate, use material and assets. Exterior wall, green siding. Hold on. Let me cancel out of here, just to make sure it doesn't do anything crazy. Okay, um, so exterior, okay, back to gray. Exterior wall, duplicate material and assets. This will be come on, green siding. And we'll change the color to green. Um, because I know we're going to do it again, we will change this one to, I think I said red siding. I was going to do red. So we'll change this one to red. I don't care how garish your colors are um, for this project. So go ham. Okay. So this one, let me change this back. This needs to be green siding because it is that one right there. Gypsum, um, I'm going to duplicate this, um, and we're going to call this, uh, was it yellow, yellow, um, and again, I'm going to just remove the image and just kind of do this, uh, gypsum wall yellow, duplicate material and assets, and this one will be gypsum wall blue blue. Okay. Apply. Okay. And then we'll just make sure that this, um, because of the one we're on, is yellow. Okay. And then we'll go to the red exterior and we'll just modify this one now that we already have the things it needs. So red siding. Um, okay. This gypsum, which one are we on? Yellow interior. Okay. Why? Okay. So then, uh, I'm not going to save this right now. Um, okay. Where was that? We're going to do consistent colors. Um, and we need to set it to just so that we can see it. Graphics use render appearance. Um, let's see. Use render appearance, use render appearance. Where is the other one? Here it is. Okay. That should make it easier for us to actually see what's going on here. So this is our red exterior. I just changed all of those. <sighs> we'll fix them as we go through them. Okay. So this should still be red. Apply. Okay. That was a space out on my part. Um, yellow interior. Apply. Apply. Okay. Apply. Okay. So that should be red. And so then we'll make this one. And this one also be red exterior, yellow interior. Nope, not that one. Nope, really nope. Okay. And then again, red exterior, yellow interior. And then now that we only have these two left, I'm just going to be lazy and do select all instances in an entire project because I only have one other of this wall type. Um, we will set this to green exterior, blue interior, and then I'll have to go in here and again, I'll edit this to check use render appearance for the green siding and use render appearance for yellow. That one's our, oh, wait a second, except this needs to be set to blue, which needs to use render appearance. And apply, and so now we should have two red, two red exteriors, two green exteriors, yellow interiors on the reds, and blue interiors on the greens. All the fours connect, doors and windows, um, and that. 
Let me double check everything. Yeah, so this is sort of something like what you should end up with. Please don't copy the exact layout I did or anything. Um, feel free to just kind of do what you want um, and kind of do your own thing for this. Um, for things like this, I'm not going to require, but, but but be ready to do it for the uh, um, for the actual milestone. Um, so when you or sorry, when you do the final, I am going to have you guys build out little extensions to make sure that all the rooms are accessible and you have to do railings. So be prepared for that. Um, but that is not part of this actual demo. Just uh, make sure that at least in theory, everything connects and no, it doesn't have to be physically possible. It can just be hanging there. Um, all right. Um, that'll be the whole milestone. Send it in to me um, when you're done.